North Korea may have replaced all of its top three military officials with younger and more moderate ones. That's according to an intel source here in the nation. Cha sang examines the potential implications of the drastic move made at this particular point in time when we're inching closer to another historic summit. A major military reshuffle could have taken place within North Korea, with all three of the regime's top military officials replaced. According to an intelligence source in South Korea, Pyongyang replaced its defense minister, Park Gyeong-sik, with Do gang chul who's been serving as a vice minister. The chief of the Korean People's Army's general staff, Lee Myung-soo, has been replaced with Lee Young-gil, who was the deputy chief. This follows the news that Kim jong gak the director of the General Political Bureau of the North Korean Army, had been replaced by Pyongyang Mayor Kim Su-gil, confirmed last month through the North's state-run media. Some view that North Korea felt a need to bring about change in its military, along with the diplomatic turnaround surrounding the Korean Peninsula. Especially with next week's talks with the U.S., some watchers say Pyongyang could have wanted to clear hardliners out of the way and tame the armed forces. But others point out that distinguishing hardliners and softliners within the North Korean military is meaningless, as Kim Jong-un already reorganized the army four years ago. They say age could be the reason for the reshuffle. Park Yong-sik and Lee Myung-soo came down to Panmunjom for the inter-Korean summit in April, but they headed back to the north before finishing off the day's schedule. They are very old. They were born in the 1930s and 40s, so they can't be out for even a day-long schedule. South Korea's unification ministry was cautious in its comments and said the news about two of the three officials hasn't been officially confirmed by the north. But the ministry said if true, this could have taken place at the north's military commission meeting last month. Pyongyang reported that it held the first and largest meeting of the ruling party's 7th Central Military Commission on May 18th and said it dealt with organizational matters like removing and appointing members of the commission and military organs. The ministry added that if the news is true, it would be unprecedented and said that it will keep a close eye on related movement. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.